You're watching Fox 9 Good Day. Welcome back. There are a lot of things to navigate when it comes to the holiday season from family gatherings to gift giving. You know, you want to make sure things are memorable and for the right reason. Yeah, so before you round up the uh, final Christmas gifts here for some advice, get some from the experts. Joining us to share some tips on gift giving etiquette is local author and et etiquette expert Juliet Mitchell. Good morning. Good morning. How, How are you guys you? today? I am well. I made it through the snow. I made know. it through the snow. I'm happy I don't to know see you. Make it home, but I'm, I made it here. Now you just got to get through the holiday season. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Which can, in some cases, be easier said than done. So when it comes to gifts, you have three words: meaningful, mindful, and modest. Yes. Let's start with the first one: meaningful. A gift is meaningful when you know the person. So gift giving is a lot about relationships. If you don't know the person, it is hard to get something that means something to that person, whether it's a child, adult, or a coworker. So you can, if it's somebody you don't know as well, you know, that's a good chance for a gift card because you're like, I don't know what you want, but then you can buy yourself something. Is that a good time for a gift card? Uh, any time for me, any time is a good time for a gift card. <laughs> I would agree. I, I didn't feel that way in the past, but now I do because sometimes it saves money, it's, it's less stress, but what gift card are you going to get? Are you going to get right. one that can go anywhere or store specific? That's when it gets more mindful and meaningful. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. Yes. So what is your advice then for meaningful that we can make sure that we've done something that is truly for them? To know that person, um, consider their age, their abilities, mm -hmm. their culture, and their values. Do they even give gifts? That's one. Do they sure. celebrate? They may not celebrate Christmas, but they may celebrate the holidays. So keep those things in mind when you get something meaningful. And what is their life or lifestyle like? That's important as well. Mm -hmm. Well, that's fair. Yeah. And, and obviously, you want to be meaningful and, and mindful, and it kind of goes hand in hand. They do go hand in hand. And definitely. so so how do you how do you keep keep those separate yet together? I guess is the best I way to describe it. I don't know if you can it. ever really separate those two because yeah. when you have things in mind it's going to be more meaningful. And again, getting to know that person and if you don't know that person that well, like your boss maybe, but the assistant or secretary or office manager may know someone better, else. Ask someone else. Oh. Ask the husband, ask the wife. Uh, think that may be safe. Ask the, uh, yeah. the parents about the children, what's meaningful for them. And also keep in mind how, what are they interested in? That's important as well. But their age and ability, like when you get older, you don't like a lot of stuff that you may have liked in the past. Yeah. And, <laughs> and by older, you're like, like it, six months, you know, to a small child is a big difference. Yes. So exactly. like there's a big difference in gift giving between like a four and a five year old or a four and a six year old. Exactly. And you know what? If you Google it, there's hundreds of articles. <laughs> the best gifts for two, 20, uh, 2023 or 2022, uh, what to get for teens, what to get your spouse. So there are plenty of retailers out there and merchants who have ideas for you. And they're searching for you. Yes, they are searching <laughs> for you. But again, knowing that person and being uh, having it be more meaningful, then you can even weed through that, what's important to you and that person. Keep them in mind. I know a lot of people like to give candles or they like to give chocolates, but in this day and age, especially with like food allergies, yes. I mean, you're kind of, it gets a little dicey. I know we received some chocolate. My kids have nut allergies. And exactly. I was kind of like, oh, thank you, but that has to be outside, you know? I am more <laughs> mindful about that. So food sensitivities, scent sensitivities, they do have candles for people who are uh, scent sensitive or fragrance oh. sensitive. Yeah. Um, and then again, like the food and the nuts, I learned that the hard way, giving yeah. some chocolate away. Some people are just allergic to everything. Knowing that person will help you to be mindful about what you give. Are there other substitutes for chocolate that you can give? Are there unscented candles? What is it that that person can have and still be included? Sure. Now, what, what do you suggest for, for gifts maybe that, you know, uh, I, I want to give something more meaningful to both of us that I don't want to go out and purchase. Or, you know, you had a rough year and you're like, I can't afford to go out and purchase a bunch of gifts. How do you how do you make something, I guess, and, and not purchase something and make it meaningful to that person? That actually was one of the number one gift giving tips from all the experts that I've checked as well. Give something that if you're crafty at something, but again, the person has to appreciate it but uh, something homemade like 
a gift of cookies or candy or something, or if you sew or knit, something like that. Also, you can give the gift of time and service. Let's have a coffee date. Let me take you out for a walk. That would be great for me just to spend 30 minutes or an hour with someone just that time. And the gift of service, offer to babysit. Help them clean their sure. house, especially if that person needs some extra help. Those are some good ideas. Yes. Uh, one of the hints you have is to remember it's not about you. And I'm like a really bad, I do this all the time. I'm like, well, I love this product, so everybody else is gonna love this product. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to say that that may not be. And just because it has a name brand, a well-known sure. brand, it may not be what that person like or even want. But I think a gift to give to someone is the gift to re-gift. Don't get worried about whether that person's gonna use it, keep it, they never wore the sweater. So they may have given it to someone who needed it more, especially if they didn't. So once it's theirs, once you give it, it's theirs. They Don't can worry do about what they, what they do with exactly. it. Exactly. I like okay. it. All right, mm -hmm. Julie Mitchell, it. thank you very much. We appreciate it. Good tips, good advice, and for you last minute shoppers out there, good luck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, good luck. For more information, head to lifeetiquetteinstitute.com.